my name is Jan Mattes. I'm Chief Product Manager of SAP Business by Design Cloud ERP, and I now will show you how you can leverage Microsoft Teams for collaboration with Business by Design. So you are probably all aware that by Design is the Cloud ERP for fast-growing small medium enterprises. We have more than 10,000 productive customers these days, and also the number of our open SAP learners is growing more than 40% year over year. What is also significantly growing is Microsoft Teams and collaboration and uh, working with different kinds of communication channels at a time is becoming more important, uh, not only due to COVID. Um, Microsoft found out that um, more and more people use more devices more, on more locations and you want to set up more overlapping teams. And of course, you want to connect also your generations with um, collaborative apps. And um, inside the collaboration is usually the data you get from your business. And that is coming from your cloud ERP, which is business by design when it comes to SMEs. So what we did now is to develop um, uh, an application which is available in the public app store of Microsoft Teams, the SAP Business by Design add-on. And uh, when you install that app, then basically you can configure Microsoft Teams to directly consume data from the by design system. So an example is if you use it for general management, for sales, but also for project management, you can directly have such tabs which allow you consumption of data, but also to interact on those data. So um, how did we build that? We've been using by design um, surrounded by Microsoft Teams. So uh, Microsoft Teams is the container for business by design information. And we built that based on business technology platform from SAP. So that's basically the glue code which brings the two solutions together. And um, uh, one example is here uh, working in sales where very often you have files like RFQs where Excel's PowerPoints and Word documents are being shared and discussed with customers and partners. And you want to make this available um, as part of your business context. And that business context is the opportunity management from SAP Business by Design or the account management. And you can then really collaborate back and forth, use the chat functionality and also share information directly in your online meetings. And same is the case also for project management. Uh, let's say if you have a marketing project, you might be having lots and, and huge budgets and also very critical timelines you need to adhere to. And uh, again, changes happen. You are in an agile environment. You need to think about postponing things. You want to discuss that with your team and then persist that in your by design system right away after discussion. Let me show this to you directly in the system. So this is my Microsoft Teams environment. I have your file share where I uh, saved a couple of screenshots and documents. I managed a folder for my opportunities and also for my marketing. And um, here, basically, I might be having PowerPoints, which I share between marketing and sales teams. So very collaborative. And uh, what I can do basically is directly drill into such documents. And I can then also see directly the data and also edit the data here in Microsoft Teams. Um, and this is uh, now an Excel file, which provides me the high level information um, of my, my projects, which are currently running. I can use um, any kind of dashboards, which are inside Business by Design and uh, link that. So if I log here in, then I will see here, let's say, my marketing dashboard, which gives me an overview about the situation in my marketing. I see the number of leads, let's say, I had compared to the last years. I see my campaigns, which are most successful, which has the highest order volume. And I can also see the total uh, marketing generated revenue. And that marketing generated revenue um, is of course depending on the various campaigns. And again, here I can really drill into the details so I can navigate directly into such a campaign and then see the information inside the campaign. So this is an event invitation. And if I go into view all, then I can also see what response options I had, what email templates have been used for that campaign, and then finally also the response details. So how many orders, quotes, emails, opportunities have been created from that campaign. And to manage my overall budget, I basically have a marketing project set up here. And again, this is a tab in Microsoft Teams. Um, 
It gives me um, all the timelines that I have for my marketing project. So you see, um, this is basically the plan I have set up for my various campaigns. It's multiple campaigns that I have here. Let me expand that a bit. And then, um, of course, I can then also collaborate and share information. So let's say if I um, might be taking a screenshot, um, then I can annotate that and post that here and say, hey, it's, is it, would it make sense to postpone a certain milestone? And, um, but most interesting is really um, the budgets that I might be assigning here. So you see, this is the details of my uh, marketing project. And I see not only who is responsible for the project and the timelines, of course, but also I can see the expenses. What I have, do I have a plan for external expenses? And also um, what materials and what work has been planned uh, by my internal employees. So, um, of course, I can also get an overview about all my project activities and where I'm standing here. So I see here the planned work and I see here the total costs which have been planned so far. And uh, as soon as uh, my project gets into the execution mode, I will continuously see any updates and also be able to um, notify people if something significant um, has been changed here. So I hope you like what you've seen and stay tuned for more videos.